Robertsons. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Finnegan Legacy Challenge Season 2. And today is a pretty big day in the Finnegan world because today is the day that um, Aaron and Derek are finally going forth and finalizing their divorce officially. Um, so Erin just got home from work. She actually got a promotion to assistant manager. Uh, so she got a raise, 187 simoleons, and she can even brag about her job title. So, you know, girl killing it. Uh, she's level four now, but I do still think she's really unhappy in her job and she's not going to keep it, but I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens. But, um, we are going to go ahead and head over to Derek's house. Um and finalize everything over there, which is really sad and, and scary. This is actually her first time even seeing Derek since she kicked him out. Um, he lives right here. Yeah, this is her first time seeing him since he was kicked out. Um, she, basically all of the um, divorce process up until now was, you know, done between lawyers and they didn't have to see each other, but today they have to actually come face to face and get divorced. And it's really, it's sad. <laughs> um, on top of that, Leon has been hitting us up nonstop, calling us, texting us, wanting to hang out. So I do think that maybe we will go out to the bar or something with him after this just because honestly I think she's gonna need it <laughs> and um yeah okay so oh he's in here making some mac and cheese uh we're just gonna sit at the the dining room table and wait for him to finish cooking that um and then we can talk oh Nelson wants to hang out Nelson I would love to I really would but I honestly can't right now Okay, so he's coming over here with his mac and cheese. Let's ask him about his day because, you know, we're not monsters. But unfortunately, we are going to go ahead and uh, divorce him. Oh, and they're, they're standing up for this. Okay. Oh, I want to take a picture because I feel like this is like a big moment you know what I mean like they're getting divorced oh he's mad about it oh god oh she's like whew. he's yeah he's really mad oh he's crying oh that's kind of sad honestly I feel like he really feels like he messed up well he did mess up so he should be like that oh my god they holy crap holy She's very sad. Um, okay, let's just quickly take a look at their relationship. They despise each other and they're divorced and their bars are both all the way to negative. Fun. Erin feels like crap. <laughs> uh, she really does. She's extremely sad. And so we are going to go ahead and see if Leon will come out with us. Just to kind of take our mind off of things, I mean, he obviously knew that this was happening tonight and he was just like on standby, waiting by the phone, waiting for us to call him and, you know, tell him what happened. So, yeah, he is, he's definitely there for us right now. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to the, well, let's go to Windenburg because it's more fun over there, I think. Um... We can go to the Shrieking Llama or the Old Quarter Inn. Let's go to the Shrieking Llama just because I think the name is really aggressive <laughs> and I'm, I'm there for it. I feel it. I think it's pretty great. So yeah, that's um, that's great. Let's do that. Um, okay, cool. I feel so sad for poor little Erin. Oh my god, she deserves so much better. <sighs> At least we know that Derek doesn't have anyone either. He's still all alone, which is just the way I want it to be. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not that mean, you guys. Um, I mean, I kind of am, but, you know, it's whatever. Uh, okay, great. So here we are. Let's go ahead and give... Can we give him a hug? I know that we're, like, 
so freaking sad right now but we're gonna go give Leon a little bit of a hug and then we're gonna come over here and order some food um, let's get some currywurst I don't really know what that is but I mean it sounds delicious oh he doesn't want a hug what the hell <sighs> okay whatever I'll just hang out with Jared then hmm someone maybe it's just because we're so sad <laughs> I don't know why are we who is this guy and why are we talking to him who, who are you what's your name where even is this person oh it's this this Clark guy okay oh she got her food oh well that looks pretty good is he yelling at us right now what the heck what is happening why is he being so mean to us is it because we said no all those times he asked us to hang out? Okay, let's not do a group conversation anymore. And what are you doing? What is even happening right now? Girl, why are you... No, no, come come sit down. <laughs> Jeez, my... I don't know why my game is, like, glitching out so hardcore right now, but okay. There you go, sweet pea. Clank, clank, clank. Row it... Heroic gentle persons gather about. Don't oh don your armor for night night and get a sweet discount. Okay, cool. Are we all just watching the cooking channel over here? Same. Uh, I'm gonna have Aaron go to the bathroom. I hate when you can't tell which gender like which bathroom is which gender just by looking at them. Like please just make one of them red and one of them green or something. And like I know I know that genders and colors it doesn't matter but it's just you know it's easier oh god i think leon's just in a really bad mood because he's like fighting with everyone right now like he's just mad i don't know what his problem is but he's just mad okay so i'm not sure why but leon just kind of left uh aaron is calling him now just to kind of be like hey are you good um but yeah he just kind of left i think he got into a bit of a fight with this clark guy and maybe he just kind of decided to remove himself from the situation or something like that. I'm not really sure. But um, Elijah is here, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to have her come over here and play, uh, what's this called? Foosball? Is that what that's called? I think so. Um, with Elijah, because, you know, they're siblings and um, Elijah knows what Aaron's going through. And I feel like he would just want to make her feel better so they're gonna play some foosball and then once they're done that Aaron's just gonna go home and go to bed uh she does work in the morning so you know staying out super late probably not the best idea but we a bad girl we don't follow the rules it's fine she's going through some stuff right now so she's just kind of being very irresponsible and doing whatever she wants and that's that's the life she leads all right you guys so I went ahead and skipped until the next day Aaron just got home from work she got home at like midnight last night i uh, went straight to bed woke up had a shower and went right to work so yeah she um she just got home we're playing some sims forever and uh yeah that's uh that's what's going on um i kind of i don't know what happened with leon last night i think he was just not in a good mood or something excuse me i had to yawn but yeah, I have no idea what the heck his problem was. Um, so I think we're just gonna kind of leave him alone for right now because I don't know if he really wants to talk to us for some reason. Like he literally called us like three times wanting to hang out. And then when I invite him out, he's like, doesn't want to, whatever. Whatever, it's fine. But I wanna work on her aspiration. So what we need to do is achieve level eight in six skills. And if we looky here, um, we're not close <laughs> uh, to sum it up so we're doing some video gaming right now and maybe that will get our video gaming skill up I'm not really sure I do think that if we bake like one thing our baking skill will get up to a level three but that's still really far away oh oh my god I hear they have one of those bubble blowers at the spice festival do you want to come with me and try it out Leon, I do want to come with you. I really do. But you're giving me so many mixed feelings that I don't know. Uh, okay, let's go with him. See, he literally, like, 
invites us out all the time, like wants to hang out with us. I don't know what was wrong with him last night. I don't know if it was just like a bad time that we asked him. I'm sure that's what it was. Maybe something happened. I don't know. Um, but I think the Spice Festival is a good idea. I didn't even know it was in town right now. But it might be a great way to kind of take Erin's mind off of everything that happened. I mean, she's finally divorced, but she's really, really sad about it, which obviously makes sense. But yeah. Aw, my poor girl. I feel like so bad for her. I love her so much. I think she's precious. And I just don't want her to be going through this because it really sucks. Like, it really does. But I, I don't know. I think Leon's a sweet guy. I really do. Uh, so hopefully, you know, this goes goes well um let's go talk to him a little bit and see what's shaken actually this is good because we can try like some new food and get like a new recipe or something can't we we can't be funny because we're too sad let's ask him for advice and see if he has any um, words of wisdom for us. What we really need to do is find a mirror and give ourselves a pep talk. That is the best way when your sins are really, really sad to kind of make it go away. So, I th yeah, I think we have multiple festivals going on at once here. Uh, it's looking kind of crazy, but do we have a bubble blower anywhere that is usable, preferably? Oh, there it is. Awesome. Okay. Um... I'll have them go try that together then. Great, that's fun. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, they're lovebirds, that's so sweet. I do think Erin is going to quit her job pretty soon and just find something different. Like, I feel like she's just in such a slump right now, so yeah, I don't know. But they are going to come over here and try the bubble blower. I would like it to take like a picture of them. But, yeah. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, he is like, yes, girl. Can we chat with him a little bit? Um, let's just talk. Let's just chat. Is that cool? Um, we'll ask him about his day, all that good stuff. I just want to talk to him. And, yeah really do because I feel like she just needs someone to talk to and if Leon is willing to be that person then great <laughs> I love that I think we actually have the day off tomorrow even so that's really fun um I like how Jack's here Jack is like everywhere we go honestly oh um our niece Fiona aged into a teen and I gave her a little makeover. Here she is, Fiona Finnegan. She's super cute. Like, she's gorgeous. I love her. She looks so much like her dad, Jack, um, which is uh, her biological father. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's come eat something. We can have some curry. We can have some. Oh, that's poor quality. I don't want the poor quality stuff. Me agree. I think we're going to go for the curry. Oh, wait. What's this? It's excellent quality. So let's come grab a serving together of that one because I feel like we should just eat it together, you know? I don't see what's happening. I don't really care what's happening. Just go eat, eat your food. Get your food, eat your food. Um, yeah, come, come sit over here with him and we'll eat. Oh, she's eating spicy food. Oh my God, girl. Looks like Erin isn't used to eating spicy food. Uh, with time and practice, she will be able to eat the spiciest foods around, like some kind of spice hound. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> we're not going to do that, but it's cool. Awesome. Okay, so we are just kind of chatting. Can we do, let's ask him for advice and see if that helps our sadness at all. Um, maybe it will. Maybe he'll just give us such good advice that like we'll feel so much better. <laughs> Okay, can you do that for me, please? Um, I don't, I don't want to say goodbye to that lady. I don't know who she is. We can tell him a dramatic story. We need to hang out with our club some more. I like how we like don't even have a relationship with Faye. Like, it's fine. <laughs> um, oh, I think, okay, I think she's starting to feel a little bit better. She's feeling very inspired right now. I think that coming out with Leon was a really good idea. 
so that makes me happy. I think they're having a good time. And it's kind of nice that they're just keeping things friendly right now. I mean, Aaron is in a pretty vulnerable place at the moment. Um, but we can be funny because we're not feeling as sad anymore. That's so cute. I love these two, honestly. I think that they're really good together. And he's such a good friend, just as it is, even without all the romance. Like, right now they're just hanging out like buds, and it's good. They don't need to be romantic, but I don't know. I think they're going to get married, I'm just saying. And I don't think they're going to get divorced. Aw, they're so sweet. Leon Varela. That's a really fun last name, actually. I, I'm living for it. Okay, Jack, what are you doing? You're just doing a bubble war. I don't know why Aaron is so interested in it. So these two have been sitting here and talking for quite a while, and they have gone on to the topic of their work. Leon is a co-worker of Aaron, and she's basically just telling him how she's really not that happy, and she doesn't know what to do because she doesn't know what other job you know she would enjoy really uh, but she's just not happy in the business career and she really is thinking about quitting and Leon definitely thinks that if she's not happy she shouldn't stay with it um, it's not worth it if she's not enjoying it and um, I mean she does have the weekend off so I think she'll definitely think about it over the weekend but um, by the time Monday rolls around, she'll have to make a decision of whether or not she wants to stay. Now she does have to reach level three in three careers for her aspiration, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what she's going to do, so we're just going to have to wait and see on that one. Um, but I'm definitely glad that she had a chance to talk about it with Leon. Poor girl, like this is so spicy. Oh, she has a spicy burn. That's so sad. That really sucks. Girl, I feel you. I cannot handle spicy food at all. I am such a wimp. <laughs> like, for real, though. But anyways, I do think that I am going to go ahead and end this part here. Um, we, you know, we got divorced. We hung out with Leon. All in all, I think it was pretty good. Um, I definitely think in the next one, Aaron really wants to explore getting more sort of romantic with Leon. She really, really likes him. And hopefully, she will be able to get over her sadness from the divorce. I mean, I love how hanging out with Leon at this festival has completely distracted her from how sad she was feeling before, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this part. I hope that you're all having a super amazing day, and I'll see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.